Romilly tried to answer its gypsy problem. Gypsies that were killed by the Nazis. No one ever wants to talk about that because no one ever wants to talk about the positives. <laughs> Segregated them regardless of age or ability, and we were put in like a side side room without any windows. Just appalling damage. They leave mountains of junk because a lot of them indulge in breaking down cars and selling the bits. There's no one else. There's absolutely no one else here to go. There's no one else for us to go. Why are the gypsies a problem? The rubbish dust collect whether they put the rubbish there or not. Uh, when I asked the teacher why I've been sent out, she said to me that because because I am a gypsy. When I was a little girl out the front, I lived in a house and people found out we were gypsies and they accused us of wearing those clothes. So it's from an early, early age. Over like the so like 20, 30, 40 years from when you were a young girl and your mum mm. was quite young, what's the difference that you've noticed in, the, in like our community that's different than 30, 40 years ago? Girls have got more freedom. Mm -hmm. um, before a girl weren't allowed out, mm -hmm. she had to stay home, wash, cook, clean, never went to school. After the infants and juniors, a lot of the money went to infants and juniors. Mm -hmm. And it's different because we was brought up with manners, we was brought up to say aunt, uncle. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of difference because we wasn't allowed to be like normal, like gorge people because yeah. we had to be do as we said. Mm -hmm. Other girls could go to school, come home and run straight out and play. Mm -hmm. We couldn't. We had to stay at home and start cleaning mm -hmm. and things like that. So. How do you feel about, like, saying now that me and my sisters, obviously I'm going uni and doing all these things, are you happier that we would have more freedoms and to go like, yeah. have jobs and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, because we weren't allowed to go to school, a senior school. A lot of us weren't. I think I went for the first year mm -hmm. and I didn't go no more. Yeah. And I think People what's going to uni, like travellers what are going to uni and all that, I think brilliant because personally I only know two people what's done that yeah. and that's my niece and my granddaughter, so I'm proud of them. Yeah. Um, why do you think it's important, like say like I'm making documentaries and like there's a traveller movement that we're doing all like the um, protests, do you remember the Jimmy Carr thing? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important to do these kinds of things for like gypsies? Because at the end of the day we're all human. Mm -hmm. We're all born and we're all going to die. We're no different than anyone else. One starry night As I lay sleeping One starry night So tell me about the men's role in the gypsy community from when you were young, like any stories you got about that? The men, as of, you class as a man before you were a man. Mm -hmm. So from when you're sort of seven, eight, mm -hmm. you'll be going out to work with your dad, uh, whether it be um, tarmacking, paving, tree surgery, whatever your dad do, does, is what you follow on and do. Mm -hmm. um, they train you, they show you how to do it, and you're expected to actually do that. Mm -hmm. So at seven, eight years old, you're expected to be up the tree, cutting the tree, limbing the tree, logging the tree, chipping the tree, loading on mm -hmm. and off. Um, personally, I like it, mm -hmm. because it shows, as a child going into a man, it shows you the right ways, um, shows you what is expected of you. Um, yeah. it's. I think it's right. I yeah. think it's right. Okay. Um, obviously, you raise us girls differently than a normal traveller girl. How would you describe the differences between me, for example, and your average traveller girl, and how you raise me differently? 
I raised you differently because of the prejudice I had as a child, mm -hmm. um, the abuse I got as a child um, at school uh, from non-travellers. Um, travellers were not very accepted, uh, they were very hated. Um, I didn't want you girls to suffer like I suffered. For me, it was, it was a case of whatever someone does to me, I do back. Mm -hmm. With the girls, I didn't want you to be persecuted like I was. Mm -hmm. So I brought you up with the travelling morals, mm -hmm. which I think is right, mm -hmm. but I brought you up as a non traveller I brought you up in a non traveller way so you didn't get the abuse that I took as a kid. Yeah. Abuse. From the perspective of someone marrying into the community, obviously you were raised in a, like the Gorgia non travelling way. How was it like for you to like come into a community that you've never really been raised in, like Dad? Well, my family was from East End of London, so we was all about family anyway, so it's a lot of the same morals, mm -hmm. as in your husband goes to work, you, the wife cooks and cleans and looks after the children, and family was everything, so it was quite similar. The only thing was, being a non traveller, coming into a travelling community, I did feel like all family, sisters and brothers and Mum, I felt like a bit uneasy at first. Like the odd one out yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is normal when you marry mm. someone into a family. When we had children, it was a bit, got a bit better. Yeah. Um, also, I asked Dad a similar question. Uh, as my other parent, not from a traveller community, like, how do you feel about the way that us girls have been raised? Obviously, I'm going uni, Danny Ann's got a full-time job. Back then, you wouldn't really do that as a woman. Mm. How do you feel about the way we're going? I thought... I th Dad's the same as well, and I think that's the same, that you should have a career and you should do, be able to do what you want. Just because other travelling girls have done that, you know, but then your sister, younger sister, Danielle, wants to do that, be mm. a wife and have kids and be a travelling wife. But I'm proud of my other kids that want to have a career like you and Ellie. Mm -hmm. So I'm all for that. So you're happy? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mum. I dreamed I heard wagon wheels a creaking when I awoke. My own love had fled. From like, let's start with some stigmas that you faced as a traveller girl that you want to set straight for people. It probably be the fact that we don't all look the same mm -hmm. like nowadays there isn't just one kind of gypsy there's loads of us and we all come in different ways we're not all dressed the same we all not all of us live in a trailer anymore some of us work some of us want careers we're not um all housewives not everyone wants children anymore it's we're kind of what's that word like an evolute a uh, like evolving, evolving. Yeah. We're evolving into like a modern day woman, mm -hmm. but still keeping our roots. Yeah. Um, so you're saying that it's a lot less sexist than most people imagine it to be. Yeah. Um, uh, positive things that um, you feel that gypsy women and even gypsy boys raising up in this new age are learning, like different how people treat each other compared to like thirty years ago. I think. One of the biggest things now is um, we're teaching a lot of women that there is more to life mm -hmm. than just raising a child. But I also think it's good that, obviously, the way we raise our children are very different to the way that a older would raise their children. Mm -hmm. By the way that um, we teach them how to learn a trade or whether they rear horses or breed or whatever that they have something to always fall them back on. As if you're just in school, you put all your hopes up into going to good grades and a college and a good work. And when that doesn't work, they don't know what to do. They lose their identity. As when you're a traveller and you've got a fallback option or whether you didn't even go to school, you've always got a trade you have. Mm -hmm. If there was something that the government or schools or jobs could do to educate people on culture to make it easier for you to integrate in there what would you like like them to do 
just instead of assuming, actually ask us questions. So instead of saying, oh, I heard you do this, or I see on Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, or I heard on the TV or in the newspaper, just ask, just ask us, mm -hmm. you know, just be like, right, so is this, like, is this true? Is this something you actually do? There's a certain mannerism and a certain way that people, I feel like, should say things mm -hmm. instead of... Because when people are like that, it's yeah. not racist, it's prejudice by mm -hmm. saying... Oh, I heard this. They're tiring us all with the same brush, basically. Mm. And I think that a lot more can be done to socially accept us, like the LGBT community, like the VAT community. I feel like there's so much done for all of those other communities. But we, even one of the oldest generations of travellers, are still receiving the same kind of backlash from what we've mm. had for years and years. Yeah. Is there anything positive about the community you think is changed over the years and like it's all new but it's like puts the community in a better light i mean so travelers obviously you when you think of travelers and gypsies you think people fighting people stealing this sort of stuff but our community has done so much so so much so when we had the um if you remember the covid outbreak mm -hmm. the traveling community raised so much money and spent thousands of thousands of pounds in supermarkets to donate to um food charities and food banks um we've done supported runs we've done so much what we can do to try and make us look better for something that wasn't even our fault for just mm -hmm. people tarring with the brush we've done so much i think and i just feel like we are on such a better path. We've done boxing charity events. So we've put, obviously, boxing is quite a big thing in the gypsy culture. And we've put that to good use. I mean, look at Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. He's probably one of the best role models in the gypsy community to show that we're not all the same and that we do have a brain and that we can be clever and that we can make something of ourselves mm -hmm. and that we're not all the same. Yeah. So I feel like that is a big positive and I am proud to be what I am. Mm -hmm. and I'd search the quarries, the camping places too. I will inquire all of our people. Have they tied her tidings or signs? 